There are many ways of getting stem cells, but in the most controversial method, scientists pull stem cells from the embryos of aborted fetuses. Now, while there are other, less controversial means of getting these cells, none of these other methods, methods seem to yield the same stem, uh, seem to yield stem cells with the same versatility as those taken from embryos. Embryotic stem cells are the preferred stem cells for cell-based therapies. They are more versatile than adult stem cells, but the same properties that make embryotic stem cells so versatile are the, also the properties that will make them unusable in therapy. Unless completely differentiated prior to use in patients, these cells will migrate throughout the body and produce tumors. Experiments performed in mice and rats have shown that spontaneous tumor formation is a persistent problem in as much as 20% of our cases. Maintaining and growing embryotic stem cell lines has also been problematic. Millions of lines must be established in order to serve a, single per, uh, a significant percentage of potential patients. The use of adult stem cells does eliminate the problems with tumors, mutation, and uh, tissue incompatibility. But since such individualized therapies could not be patented, companies have no financial incentives to pursue such therapies. Since millions of lines would be required to serve all the different tissue types of patients, companies could charge a fortune for each patented line they produce. The moral and fiscal costs of stem cell research outweigh any potential benefits that could come. Alright, before we can truly begin this debate, I think it would be important to define what stem cells really are. Stem cells are cells that have the ability to divide for an indefinite period it, um, to give rise to specialized cells. They serve as an internal repair system. Um, since stem cells are not specialized cells, such as muscle cells or a red blood cell, they have the ability to become whatever cell they want. For adults, stem cells are used to repair and replace old and worn out cells. With the discovery of stem cells, they have the ability to evolve into a multitude of other cells. Medical professionals have begun using stem cells for treatment for certain diseases, such as diabetes or heart disease. They've also begun using stem cells in cell-based therapies for treating more severe diseases such as cancer. For a real-world example, Hockey Town's born Gordy Howe suffered a stroke back in October of 2014. He was unable to walk and was very disoriented um, right after the stroke while he was in the hospital. His family decided to have him go undergo stem cell therapy. Within hours of receiving these stem cells, he had begun his recovery. According to his family, he insisted on walking to the bathroom soon after his treatment was done. His family is not the only one that has been benefited from the stem cell research and these therapies. For kids with kids or adults with leukemia, their survival rate has increased to 84 to 94 percent with the use of stem cell therapies. While those who underwent a normal treatment such as chemo, their survival rate is only 63 to 84 percent. That's in, that's according to a research done by the Roswell Park Cancer Institute. It is a significant increase in the survival rate for those who receive stem cell therapy. And thanks to the stem cell research done, the pa patients every day are able to undergo these therapies and they have been recovering from many deadly diseases. Okay. Uh, Ten minutes for your question. Um, <clears throat> What do you, what is, in your own opinion, what is your definition of when do you believe life begins? When do you feel that life is? Scientific definition your, or just your definition? Just, what do you think? Would you go with the scientific definition? Mm -hmm. Scientific definition of life is well into pregnancy, is it not? Technically, um, the definition of life is um, determined as the moment that an embryo is formed. So the moment that um, a sperm cell reaches an egg and creates the embryo. Is that your opinion that or is that the scientific, scientific definition of when life begins? Okay. So would it be fair then, knowing that life begins at... Knowing that, or thinking? Yeah, knowing that life begins at this, and sir, can you not question me? I'm asking that question. Um, Sorry, sir. And um, knowing that the life begins at that initial instant that the egg is introduced with the sperm cell, do you think it's fair to take away an embryo for scientific purposes? Yeah. Not giving it the chance of life? Yeah. Why? 
Because uh, the only actual fetuses that are aborted that are used in stem cell research are fetuses that would have been aborted anyway. Like, women just don't get pregnant to have fetuses for stem cell research. The fetuses mainly used in stem cell research are grown in vitro or in a test tube. They're outside the womb anyway, so even if you didn't harvest their stem cells from them, they wouldn't live anyway because they're not in the womb. There is actually a case that a child is born for the sole purpose of harvesting the stem cells from the child. Well, then that's the mother's uh, choice to but abort do you them. believe that it's... Do you agree with that? Opinion, that, that I mean, that's true. the law, is it not? You but can abort a child if you wish to. Are we arguing we're not the arguing legality? The, we're not arguing the abortion. We're arguing, do you feel that it's... Well, if we're not arguing the abortion, then what are we arguing? To harvest... To harvest a child for its stem cells, do you feel that that's that's a bad example? Isn't it for a noble purpose? The though? child wasn't aborted. The child, the child the was born. They, 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 they took the aborted. stem cells from the child. It's and they used it to. They oh took God, the stem cells. Do you feel that that's a <laughs> <laughs> They only, they only had this child born for the sole purpose. Well, then is, is the, the blame for that doesn't fall on stem cell research. The blame for that falls on the irresponsibility and devaluing of life by the mother. I can't tell the mother what to do with her own body, can I not? I mean, if she wants to have a baby and abort it, then oh well, right? So you think that's okay for um, human life to be destroyed like that for the research of... The, just the research of stem cells. Well, the thing is, it's not for just a random, senseless thing. It's for stem cell research, which, add, which as we explained, drastically increases the survival rate for patients with severe diseases, ailments, and illnesses. I mean, I think that's a noble cause, if any. There, between 30 and 70 percent of all patients who receive stem cell transplants will or suffer from something known as graft versus host disease, which is a rejection of the stem cells in the host's body. Actually, there's actually very minimal chance that actually happens. It's between 30 and 70 percent. Can I, where did that come from? WebMD. WebMD? My source comes from the net. Hold on. <laughs> National Institutes of Health from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. What is the statistic exactly? There is no statistic. It's just that very minimal. Okay, then that's, that doesn't tell me anything. How does that not tell you anything? It, very very minimal, minimal could mean on a very large okay, scale. Okay, like 0.5%. Let's, for, for arguing purposes, it's 0.5%. Out of what? What is 0.5%? 0.5% of patients. Do you have a number? What, how many patients? You can't just make up numbers, Christian. Do you know how many how patients receive uh, stem cell therapy? No. How many? Can you enlighten me? I cannot. Okay. <laughs> so the, the point is no. But I have an actual number. Well, are I you have, aware? Are you, I have. Are you aware of the complications that um, are attributed to graft versus host disease? Are you talking about. Rejection or the cancer being further aggravated? No, I'm talking about there is um, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal cramps, liver damage that can um, inherently cause liver failure, which would cause a transplant. And due to stem cells transplants, most people's immune systems become so weakened. Some even have to go through full radiation, where it completely destroys their immune system for a long period of time, and then they can't receive the liver transplant, and they would um, die. Is that also from WebMD? <laughs> that is just a series of events that could occur. What, what's the source on that one? That's, that's just based on liver damage. Liver damage no, but where, where did you find that information? Because from the very certifiable sources that I use, such as the you U.S. Can. Department of Health and Questions. U.S. Department of Health and Human Services? I'm asking where he got the source. You can ask him that. my question. I can't answer question. his question unless I know where I, he got the source. Why not? Because I want to know the, uh, the, um, I'm just asking how accurate that, that, that is. That, that can happen. The, according to my sources, scientists, that's mostly speculation, and that's actually rarely ever been recorded. It's very minimal, as I said before. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you aware that...
Are you aware that um, the operation done on Gordy Howe was done in Mexico? Okay. Completely outside of the United States and out of our laws. But is the topic stem cell research in America or stem cell research? Technically, totally. it's outlawing it in the United States, so yes, it's in America. Well, I don't see how that's relevant. If he got in Mexico, it still helped him whether or not... Right, but are you aware that the... The, um, the debate's not on Gordy Howe breaking the law. I'm not the debate is on stem cell research. Okay, can I continue okay. my okay. point? There is, in Mexico, um, medical centers and treatments are less um, regulated, so places can be more dirty and that sort of situation. And here in the United States, there have been reported cases of stem, stem cell treatment clinics popping up all over the place where they use... Um, they use sheep and shark stem cells that can cause extreme complications when the And old bodies. people have also been scanned and giving their money to clinics that don't exist. But the thing is, we're not debating on the people who run stem cell research. Somebody can lie and con about anything. I can sell you something that doesn't exist. I can sell you a book that doesn't exist. That doesn't mean we should outlaw books, does it? I could sell you a burger well, and then the burger could be like the burger could be horse meat. That doesn't mean that we should outlaw selling burgers, does it? Well it's false advertisement. If you say you're Is that on stem cell life. research or is that on people who take advantage of a situation trying to get personal gain? I'm sorry, was that a question? Yes. You can't, I can't answer any questions. Oh well I answered with the question. You can't answer with the question. I can answer however I choose. That's not how it works. Can you rule on that? Yeah, you, you can't answer with the question. So what did you what did you ask me? And I am aware of that. I just yeah, think that it's, I just think that it's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> I think that someone can try to profiteer anything. So I don't think that that actually matters. So you don't think it matters that people are misusing um, this, the idea of stem cells and harvesting them from other species and using them in humans? You don't think that matters? Well, that's on them. That's not on stem cell Even if research. they're fully, if, even if they are, they, that they're being told that they're human stem cells? Well, then maybe people should look into what they're purchasing and look they into the they feel that it's completely true? But I don't see how this is relevant. Like, it's a criminal because thing. The, the problem is with stem cells, it's being, I don't know how to put this, it's being almost put on a pedestal and looked at as like, the answer to every ailment. Well, it's not the answer to every ailment. That's, it's just what, very, that's what people it's are viewing. It's a very, with. very positively backed up. People treatment. are viewing so, it as the answer to everything when it can. Well, it can literally not. help people with cancer. So I don't see well, how that cancer. doesn't deserve. No, oh, that's not proven. I don't see how that can be. How that doesn't deserve to be placed on a pedestal. Being placed on a pedestal. It's okay. I can understand that it being placed on a pedestal, if they're, if it's not being used in a poor manner, like if it, people are looking at it. Can I have clarification answer, on the question? Are you asking me my stance on people illegally selling stem cells or people getting stem cell treatment in general? Because those are vastly different things. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not my turn of question. Yeah, that's not, I'm not going to answer it, so it's, you can ask as many questions as you want. There will be no answers. So. Okay. It's your time.